strange things about Jennifer Hudson's relationship. In November 2017, singer Jennifer Hudson and former pro wrestler David Atunga surprised the self world when they announced their split after a decade together and one child. Making the news even more shocking, she filed a restraining order against the Harvard Law Grant. Jennifer requested and received a protective order against her ex fiance, her rep, told People. Jennifer's actions are solely taken in the best interest of their son. What happened to the seemingly stable bear? Let's take a closer look. They got engaged quickly. Hudson and Atunga were dating for less than a year when her rep confirmed to people that he put a ring on it in September 2008. Hudson's dating life prior to Atunga is shrouded in mystery while his own romantic history played out on reality TV. Before Chud, he attempted to romance Tiffany New York Pollard as punk on the iconic I Love New York 2. Believe it or not, Oscar winner Hudson actually noticed him for the first time on the VH1 series. A tongue told talk show host Wendy Williams in 2012, she first noticed me on I Love New York 2. I started doing a lot of interviews after the show wrapped and made friends with a couple of people. Next thing, you know, a friend of mine says hey, you should meet my friend Jennifer. Her family tragedy stalled their wedding plans. Hudson's mother, Donald Donison, and brother, Jason Hudson, were tragically shot and killed by her sister's ex, William Balfour, at their Chicago home just one month after she and Atunga got engaged. Her seven-year-old nephew, Julian King, was found shot dead three days later. While the slayings obviously overshadowed potential wedding planning, it also brought the couple closer. Hudson credits Atunga and their son, David Daniel Atunga, Jr., with saving her life. That's one of the things that saved my life, because I could have been home with my mom then. Atunga wanted me to come out of Florida with him instead of going to Chicago, Hudson told Ebony in November 2011 via the New York Post. I flew out to see him. That's why I'm still here. In 2012, Atunga told people that Balfour's conviction on three counts of murder helped everyone begin to move forward. That was something that was hanging over our heads for so long and now we feel like we can finally breathe a sigh of relief, he said. Everything is good now. I'm blessed to have such a wonderful woman in my life who cares for our child so lovingly. It's made me love her just that much more. They were engaged forever. Despite their engagement in 2008 and the birth of their son in 2009, the pair never married which makes Hudson's reasoning for not walking down the aisle all the more bizarre. She says she didn't want to rush. We will get married one day, but again, my thing is once I get married, I don't believe in divorce. So when I get married, it's for good, Hudson told the Wendy Williams show in 2014. We want to be completely sure we're together, we're happy. To the public, they seemed like a rock-solid couple from the start, so it's unclear why Hudson continued to hesitate. She told Essence in August 2016, it's about timing. I am in no rush at all. We will get married. It will happen. Kira gave her the wedding bug. Though Atunga and Hudson never made it down the aisle, the Dreamgirls 2008 star admitted that seeing her pal Kira tie the knot with NFL star Russell Wilson made her want to start finally committing to the idea of getting hitched. After being at Kira's wedding, I'm like, okay, she told Essence in August 2016. I don't know, it inspired something. I just loved her dress. It was so beautiful. So that made me say, okay, all my friends and peers are married now. You know what I mean? The relationship was over for months before anyone knew. 
though the public didn't hear about their breakup until November 2017. Hudson and Atunga's relationship apparently ended long before the headlines broke. Hudson's rep told People in November 2017. They have been in the process of ending their relationship for a number of months. He reportedly thought she was cheating. TMZ reported that Atunga and Hudson ended their relationship after he accused her of having an affair with music producer Marley Music. Despite the breakup, the couple reportedly continued to live together while trying to reach a custody agreement for their son. In documents obtained by TMZ, Hudson alleged that a jealous Atunga called her several times while she was at a recording session in Chicago. When he couldn't reach her, she claimed he had their son try to film her for him to prove she was romantically involved with the producer. She accused him of physical abuse. Hudson claimed in court documents obtained by TMZ that when she and their son returned home following the aforementioned incident at the recording studio in Chicago, Atunga became violent. Hudson accused Atunga of grabbing David Daniel Jr. by the hand, roughly, then pushing her out of their suite. She claimed it was the most recent incident in a pattern of allegedly escalating behavior that she found threatening from the 6-3 former We Star. The situation reportedly prompted her to obtain a protective order against him. He denied the abuse allegations. Atunga denied Hudson's abuse allegations. His attorney, Tracy Rizzo, told People, as a result of Mr. Atunga's career in the We Ms. Hudson felt that she could give an award-winning performance in court to portray herself as the victim. Mr. Atunga has never abused or harassed Ms. Hudson or their son, and it is unfortunate, especially in today's climate, that she would feel the need to make these false allegations against him. Rizzery's statement continued. Ms. Hudson thought it was appropriate to have their son at a recording studio until 12 hours 30 minutes a.m. on a school night. Mr. Atunga's only concern that evening was putting the child to bed so that he could be well rested for school. At no time did Mr. Atunga physically push Ms. Hudson as she has alleged. Everyone who knows Mr. Atunga in his personal life can attest to the fact that he is a highly educated, sophisticated, and nonviolent man, and that his primary concern in life is caring for the party's son. Ms. Hudson is much less available to care for the child as a result of her constant traveling, but Mr. Atunga has always notified Ms. Hudson of the child's activities and whereabouts. She also accused him of psychological abuse. Hudson accused Atunga of deliberately leaving a gun visible on their kitchen counter to scare her. In documents obtained by TMZ, Hudson alleged, David knows that I am and have been very sensitive to firearms after my mother and my brother were murdered by a firearm. I believe that he left it out to taunt, intimidate and frighten me, which he absolutely accomplished. Atunga's attorney told People, Mr. Atunga does not own a firearm, and the gun referenced in Ms. Hudson's petition was a prop that he used for an audition, just as he told her it was at the time she saw it in their house. They're gearing up for a custody fight. Hudson reportedly accused Atunga of threatening to skip town with their son. In court documents obtained by Blast, Hudson claims Atunga took David Daniel Jr. out of school and she only found out about it when a safety ape used by the school alerted her to his exit. Hudson and Atunga have each claimed to be the primary caregiver for their son, so the custody fight is shaping up to be a nasty one. Atunga's attorney told People, David Atunga has been trying to negotiate the terms of an amicable parenting agreement with Ms. Hudson for several weeks now. However, when it became apparent to Ms. Hudson that Mr. Atunga would be the parent granted residential care of the child as a result of Mr. Atunga being the child's primary caregiver while Ms. Hudson pursues her career all over the world, Ms. Hudson decided to file a meritless petition for order of protection in an effort to gain an unfair advantage in the custody dispute. Mr. 
Atanya looks forward to his day in court and in being awarded the residential care of the party's only child. Last reported that Hudson was temporarily granted full custody of David Daniel Jr. as well as exclusive possession of the home they shared.